Cold War Season 2 is here and with it comes the LC-10 SMG. So let's take a look at the best class for it. Hey guys, it's Forizel Dave here. Welcome back to another video. Today we are taking a look at the LC-10 SMG which has just been added to Cold War Season 2. This is a really, really awesome gun. I'm already really enjoying using it. It's quite similar to the Bullfrog, I find. It seems like it's more of a kind of controlled SMG than something like the Mac 10, which is just like super quick, blow people up, but also kind of harder to control. This gun controls really, really nicely, and I'm going to show you the best class for it uh, and why I've chosen all the attachments that I've put on it so far in the game. So if you do enjoy this video, be sure to like and comment down below what your favorite thing about Season 2 is right now from either Cold War or Warzone, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Press the notification bell as well while you're at it to make sure you're updated with all of my new videos as soon as they come out. So first thing we're doing is jumping in a custom game with a base, no attachment LC-10 to figure out what this gun's base recoil pattern is. And that'll give us a good idea of what attachments we want to be running to keep this gun beaming at those medium ranges uh, and in general just dominating enemies. So let's aim in over here and we'll just shoot, not adjusting for recoil whatsoever. And we'll see, and I've tested this before, this gun basically is like, it's completely vertical recoil, which is... Good to start off with because we can counteract vertical recoil with a, a pull down of the mouse or, you know, a slight tilt of the joystick. Uh, and the horizontal recoil is, is also pretty controllable as well. It, there's very little of it to start off with. Um, but if I just go back and shoot again, you'll see once again that it basically goes up to the right and then basically back to where we started. So we start down here, we come up to the right and we come back to the middle. So very little horizontal recoil and uh, a nice, basically thin line all the way up. So this is going to be very easy to make a class for. Let's jump in and have a look at what we're going to put on it. So now we're in the gunsmith and we're going to take a look at the best class for the LC-10 right now that I've come up with. The optic, we don't need to run one, definitely not. This gun has really good iron sights. I think this gun's going to be pretty solid in Warzone purely for that fact uh, because it has really nice like almost a growl style iron sights so if you if you guys I'm hoping you guys know what I'm talking about there with that archangel barrel on the growl this thing just has a nice little pointer it's very low profile profile very very thin it's very easy to aim with so we do not need an optic on this gun muzzle I've decided to go with the uh, muzzle that gives the most vertical recoil control because there was so little horizontal recoil anyway, it was basically a straight up line with a slight bend in it, uh, that losing a bit of horizontal recoil control does not bother me. And so the SOCOM Eliminator is definitely the what I'm going to go with here. Uh, the barrel, I'm going to go with the Ranger barrel. Uh, we want to extend this thing's bullet velocity. It's an SMG. SMGs in Cold War are notoriously bad for bullet velocity. Um, and yes, the idea with an SMG is that you're going to be fighting people up close, so bullet velocity shouldn't matter. But honestly, it's a, it's a big issue in this game. And so bullet velocity should be taking it at almost every opportunity you can get. And the Ranger barrel gives you the most bullet velocity. We're then going to go with the under barrel. And you have probably two options here. Um, you have the field agent grip or the SFOD speed grip. I think both of these are really, really good attachment. Speed grip's going to be better if you're playing really, really aggressively because sprinting move speed is, it's it, it, it's unmatched in this game. There's no other way of getting the sprint move speed that the speed grip gives you. Uh, and so a lot of people are running this on their SMGs. However, as we saw, the horizontal recoil control component of a, of a pro on this gun is really not that useful. If you compare it to something like the AK-74U, which has a lot of horizontal recoil problems, uh, and therefore the speed grip's incredible on it because it really reduces it, uh, I've actually found that the field agent grip can make this gun just beam that little bit better because it adds further vertical recoil control. You'll see, if I choose field agent grip here, um, and then we look at the details, we're bringing down the vertical recoil control even further. It started off at around 200. We've brought it down to three quarters of that already, which is really, really, really good. And we're still getting more horizontal recoil control anyway. I think this is a debate between how aggressive you want to play. I think to make this gun as best as it can be just kind of beaming people, field agent grip is the way to go. So I'm going to choose that for now, but we might switch to speed grip at some point if we feel a little bit spicy, a little bit aggressive. Then we're going to go with the handle stock combo that I would probably recommend on basically any gun in, in Cold War. It is the airborne elastic wrap 
and the Raider stock. Basically, the last handle and the last stock is always incredible. I've talked about this in my other class videos. The, the, the last wrap gives you really, really good improved ADS time. I think there's only... I thought there was another attachment that actually gave you better ADS time, but there isn't. No attachment gives you better ADS time. 90% flinch resistance is unmatched because it means that when you're beaming someone and then they shoot back, it doesn't matter because you keep beaming because you've got 90% flinch resistance. That's incredible. Uh, and then aim while going prone, so you have drop, stop, drop shot potential. Sorry, uh, Shooting move speed, losing a bit of that is a little bit annoying because you lose a little bit of strafe speed, um, but... I don't mind it too much. 10% is not too bad for all the pros you get. Really not a problem. Uh, and you lose a bit of sprint to fire time. However, the stock that we're going with, the Raider stock, gives you 30% sprint to fire time uh, and 10 aim walking movement speed. So you get a little bit of that strafe speed back and you completely make back that sprint to fire time and add better sprint to fire time. So this gun becomes really, really snappy. What we'll do now is we'll quickly take this version and we'll compare it to the original no attachment version and show you how much we've reduced the recoil with this build. Okay, so we're spawning in. We've got the base attachments, so nothing on it, LC10, and we're gonna do a spray pattern on the wall. So as we know, we get that up, right, and left recoil. Now what we'll do is we'll let ourselves die. So remember that recoil pattern. Remember it flies up. Now let's take a look at this. So we've come on over. And now let's take a look. Look how insane that is. Look, let me do that again. Previously, we were going from like here up to here. Now this gun just beams. Let's do this at range as well. Look at that. Look how tight that recoil is. It's incredible. This gun is an absolute machine in terms of in terms of how accurate it is. It feels really snappy. It's got really, really nice sights. In terms of damage, I'm not exactly sure how it stacks up against some of the other guns. It's almost certainly got slightly lower damage, but I reckon when we take this over to Warzone, it's going to be a sniper's best friend. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed this class, then please do leave a like on the video. Uh, I, as I said, I really enjoy using this gun. And I'm going to be using it more, trying to grind out more levels on it uh, and, and taking it into normal games as well. So hopefully you enjoy this class and hopefully you get using this gun as well. Thanks very much. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.